So iMovie has updated uh, recently and there's some really, really nice features in here which you can start to see some of the style from some of the other apps coming across to iMovie. Um, and in this case, it's just really about editing those videos, how you can be really, really creative and bespoke with some of the options around titles and backgrounds, etc. So let's jump in and take a look. So you'll notice that the splash screen that appears when you first go into it highlights some of these things. And like we said, this is around the titles, the backgrounds, and some really kind of simple changes to how you can play around with the filters that really mean you have precise control over what you want your videos to look like. So let's jump in and start a new movie and take a look at some of the things that uh, are new on this screen. So instantly we have our kind of photos um, and videos all accessible here. But you'll notice now on the left hand side we also have this backgrounds option. And if we go into backgrounds we just have these kind of color palettes, patterns, etc. that you can choose to get started with. Now you might be thinking well why do I need these in my video? Well it's going to come apparent when you start to look at this with the new text features that are included as well. So let's go ahead and just use this as our instant background. And you see it's going to drop that in as basically like a slide placeholder um, on my screen. Um, and you think, oh, so what? You know what? It might just be that fade through black start that you can that you can put on things. But when we then go into the detail, we can go into titles as well. And we'll see here that there are new titles. There's some new fonts that you can play around with in here and different styles. But we also have some additional features within this. You'll notice straight away that we have some more controls above here. And now we can start to really play around with some of the titles, the text on our screen. And again, be really, really precise in how we want this to look. So we can choose from the fonts that you'll be familiar with through using any of the iWork apps. So you can really customize what you want your font to look like on the screen change the color um, and this has long been something that iMovie users have wanted because it used to be the white text um, and so therefore if you had any white on the screen it was always that conflict of you couldn't necessarily see the title so now you can customize this um, through a whole range of you know very very bespoke colors etc that you want to do um, down to the nth degree of, of what you want that to look like on your screen so really really simple really really nice uh, personally, I think it would be great if you could also have the gradient colors here, but this is just me being a bit picky when I see something new added in. We also then have some other options in here where we can very quickly change the style to where we want it to go on the screen, but more on that later. We can add some text shadow to this um, and choose whether we want it to all be uppercase or lowercase, and if you want it to be for the full duration of your clip or if you just want it for a section of the clip. Now, coming back to this idea of placement on the screen, when you're going to edit this, you'll also notice that you can move this on the screen as well. So now I can tap on the text and I can place this wherever I want, very similar to how you can in clips, which really adds that extra touch to that personalization of what you do. Once it's on the screen, obviously you can change the different kind of setups that you might want on your screen and also, you'll notice that on the screen itself, we can also change the colors. Um, in this case, I chose a gradient, so I can change that start and end color on that background. So really, really nice touch in there. So let's jump into the uh, video and the filters part of things. If I jump in now, I'm just gonna grab a picture, uh, choose this one here of my son. One of my favorite pictures of him is when he used to look cute. Uh, I'm just going to drop that picture in. Um, and the, the similar things still apply in terms of, uh, you know, touching on, on the video itself and being able to change, uh, you know, where that picture appears on the screen, etc. But let's take a look at the filters within this, because this is where it can get really, really interesting. So let's make him uh, appear in the screen a little bit easier. And if I go ahead and tap on the filters, same filters that we, we're used to in seeing in here, uh, lots of different ones to choose from. But something that's just really, really nice is the addition now of this filter kind of spectrum, where you can choose how much of the filter is applied. And I think where this is nice is you can go obviously from no filter to all filter, which is what we had before. 
but you can now really play around with that distinction. So in this case, adding in a, a touch of the color from the picture, but still maintaining that kind of ink type look. You can really be precise with some of the different things in here. And obviously that applies to all of the filters where you can choose that level that you want to apply to your image, which I think is a really, really nice touch. So there we go, just a few of the updates that have um, appeared in the new iMovie update. Remember, all of those uh, text options that I showed you before apply not just on that background. And I guess this is the kind of prime example of why having these new touches are great. This is what it would have looked like before, but now I have that option to change the color of the text, change the position of that text to exactly where I want it to go, change the style, etc. And it makes it really, really nice and easy to be completely customizable for your iMovie videos. So there we go. As always, please leave some comments below. I'd love to see how people are thinking about them using these in their own practice. And please like the video if this has been of use to you.